Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the cost of electricity. So here we have a laptop. A laptop is an example of an electrical appliance, which means it takes energy in the form of electricity and converts it into useful stuff such as light and sound. The units for energy are joules. Let's say this hungry laptop feeds on 100 joules per second. The amount of energy that it uses per second can also be called the power. So this laptop has a 100 joule per second power. Or we can just say 100 watts. Here we have three devices. On the left we have a phone which has a power of 500 watts. We have some headphones which have a power of 800 watts. And a games console which has a power of 2000 watts. Let's say we use the phone for 20 minutes to watch a video on examqa.com. We use the headphones for half an hour to listen to a documentary and we play games for 10 minutes on our games console. In which of these scenarios have we used the most energy? Also, we want the answer to be in kilojoules. Okay, let's start with the phone. So we know that the power is 500 watts, which means the phone uses 500 joules per second. But of course, we're not using it for one second, we're using it for 20 minutes. So let's work out how many seconds there are in 20 minutes. So to convert from minutes to seconds, we're going to times it by 60. That gives us 1,200 seconds. Perfect. So if we know that the phone uses 500 joules per second, that means in 1,200 seconds, it will use 500 times 1,200, which is equal to 600,000 joules, which is a lot of energy. Now this number is quite big, so we're going to divide it by 1,000 to turn it into kilojoules. So the answer for this phone was 600 kilojoules. Okay, let's move on to the headphones. So the headphones have a power rating of 800 watts, which means it uses 800 joules per second. Since we use it for 30 minutes, we're going to times it by 60 to convert this into seconds. That gives us 1,800 seconds. So if we know that it uses 800 joules for one second, timesing that by 1,800 will give us 1,440,000 joules. Again, we can divide this by a thousand to turn it into kilojoules. Okay, final example. The games console has a power rating of 2000 watts, which means 2000 joules of electrical energy are used every second. We use it for 10 minutes, so converting that into seconds can be done by timesing by 60. That gives us 600 seconds. So if we know that it uses 2000 joules for one second, timesing by 600 will give us 1 million 200,000 joules divided by a thousand which gives us 1,200 kilojoules okay so from the three devices we can see that the headphones use the most amount of energy for that given time how about if they all were used for the same amount of time let's say in this example all three devices were used for 30 minutes now we're going to save ourselves from doing the very long calculation and I'm going to tell you a trick when you have different devices with different power ratings, but they're used for the same amount of time, to work out which one has used the most energy, all you have to do is look at the one with the highest power rating. So in this case, the games console for 30 minutes will use up more energy than the phone for 30 minutes or the headphones for 30 minutes. Okay, perfect. So now that we know how to work out energy used, how about how much does it cost us to use these devices? To work out the cost, all we have to do is follow this easy equation. Cost equals kilowatt hours times by price. Don't worry if you get confused. We're going to go through this now. What does kilowatt hours mean? Kilowatt hours is just another way of saying how much energy is transferred per hour. To do this, all we have to do is times the kilowatts with the number of hours used. For example, this games console has a two kilowatt power rating and we use it for one and a half hours. This games console has a power rating of two kilowatts and we've been using it for one and a half hours. So to work out kilowatt hours, all we have to do is two times 1.5 and that gives us three kilowatt hours. Now we have the times of by price. 
To get the price, we have to look at our tariff. The tariff says that it costs us five pence per kilowatt hour. So we're going to do three times five, which equals 15 pence. Or we can write it as 0.15 pounds. Okay, let's say you want to work out how many kilowatt hours a device has used. To do this, you can look at your electrical meter in your home. Notice it says kilowatt hours. Let's say the electrical meter was 1904.20 kilowatt hours. This was before we used the games console. We came back after one and a half hours and it's gone up by five. Hmm, that's a bit confusing. It should have gone up by three. Now don't worry if it's higher than expected. Remember, the electrical meter in your home is measuring the electricity usage by all the different components in the house, such as your games console, your phone, your TV, fridge, etc. So if we expected it to go up by three, but it actually went up by five, that means your phone's also probably being used at the same time. So it's nothing to worry about. And that's how you work out how much electricity has been used by your home. And more importantly, we need to find out who's been using your phone. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.